So now the postseason, you think about how their pitching is going to stack out. For Barrios, for you, is that an ace for you in the postseason? Is that enough for this Minnesota team to carry them on to the World Series? Well, he's going to have to be enough because he's the best guy in their rotation. He has a stuff, but not enough seasoning. He's only had one start in the postseason, didn't go where he wanted to, gave up three runs, one home run, and only went three innings. But these are the type of ball games that – you know, mold an ace. It wasn't easy for him. He was pitching from behind. He had to keep the lead, end up going deep in the ball game, and giving the ball club a chance to win. And that's what you do when you're behind. You don't let the game get away from you. So this is the things I want to see from him, and this is the maturity. He's going to grow into that frontline ace that they need for that organization. Yeah, huge ceiling for Barrios. Uh, I, I think he is a star in the making. That being said, if you're relying on a young pitcher like that, I think that's too much to ask. If you look at some of the positions, he needs a massive Bumgarner type. I'm not going to say massive Bumgarner, but that type because he has that ability to frontline that starting rotation, and you can learn from them. That is huge when you're thinking about a young star in the making. You want to go out there and see how they handle those big moments. That's what he's missing, in my opinion, but he has the ability to be a star for a long time. Yeah, he's yeah. only 25 years old. Right. Yeah. So and you talked about it was a wild card start at Yankee Stadium. Uh, you know, it didn't go well. It's one star. But, you know, it, your, your point is taken, Sweeney, about if it's not Bumgarner, maybe just that veteran to take the pressure off so it's not all on this kid. Definitely. In, yeah. in that series. I mean, because now you're talking about going into New York, going into Houston, going, you know. That's... You know, they got some bad omens in New York, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have, yeah, they have not fared there. I'll tell you one thing. He is, uh, he is a star. He can pitch, and he did it tonight for the Twins in their win over the Rays. You know, w look, he's been a, he's been a, a good major league player player he's been a defensive guy that's what he's been known for his love is his offense hasn't come through so how in the world Alex do you explain what he has given the Yankees this year you know he has the clutch gene and you know when somebody goes down is somebody else's opportunity and, and what's interesting about the Yankees KB is is their depth incredible who would have thought that their best three players right now would be uh Ursula Luke DJ Lemieux Voigt and Luke Voigt yeah. I mean that it tells you the breath in their roster. Yeah, no doubt. You know, I had a chance to be around Gio Urshela early, early in his career at Cleveland, and we always knew he could pick it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that wasn't the problem. The problem was with his bat, Absolutely. right? I think he's doing such a great job for himself right now. And like you're saying, with Andahar down for the entire season, mm -hmm. you needed someone to step up. Right now, I think he's staying within himself. He's hitting the balls to all fields. He's not necessarily, hit, necessar not necessarily hitting 100 home runs right now. Don't but he's to. Yeah, but he's putting the ball in play, and he's giving the Yankees quality at bats. And that lineup, that locker room, man, regardless of who's on that field, these guys expect to win. And this was a huge win. Even though it was in Yankee Stadium, they beat the teeth of their power as far as the bullpen. They got Alvarado, who hasn't been touched ever. It's been nasty. Voight with a big home run, yep. and then they're able to put together some good at-bats. So that's impressive, especially going up against the Rays, because that's the teeth, and that's how they're going to win. Keep the ball game close. Torino's did a heck of a job keeping the Yankees at bay and shutting it down and playing the game close. So that's Tampa Bay Rays game. So uh, that's a big win for them. I thought they they're going to get two out of three, yeah, so you guys got me, but uh, hey, we'll see. Train, what, one of the things is, I mean, this is rich people's problems. I mean, the issue for Brian Cashman, the general manager, and Aaron Boone is what do we do when all the big fellas get back? They're playing right. better than 600 baseball, sometimes 700 baseball. Yeah. What do you do? It's a little dangerous because you don't want to get in front of a uh, of the great momentum they've built so far. Uh, I tell you what, though, if you coming back, we got to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the bottom line. And that's, that's the cold New York yeah. heart truth what about it. It's that? like, yeah, you got to pass that torch. Good job, but uh, yeah, no, we got Aaron and Tashera coming see, back. That's, yeah, that's a lot of real estate coming you back. You know how much money they have invested in all these players right, right now. When Giancarlo comes down, regardless of how good Cameron and Maven mm -hmm. has been, he's got to go. That's right? right? I mean, just these guys have so many of their players that they. But let me ask we're you a question. Be there all if year. you're playing 800 baseball and Stanton comes back, do you divorce everything that's happened? Do you put it to bed and put Stanton back in? Well, there's a reason why he's making 325. I didn't ask you that. Right? I said if you come back, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I think he's one of my guys. He's back in the okay. lineup immediately okay. because that's the guy that I'm going to roll with. I, that's guess, the danger, I guess that's right? a good problem to have, though, right? Yeah, I mean, right. it's a decision, but it's a good problem to have because their guys who weren't expected to play are I've driven them to first place. That's where they are mm -hmm. right now.